Hi, and welcome to our discussion of acid-based chemistry at Allen High School. We've been working on a titration curve, and we are now at the hardest part of our titration curve, and that's the equivalence point. All right, so uh, we've done our dilution. We're using our doc saves everyone method. Dilution stoichiometry equilibrium. This is our dilution step. If you don't understand it, ask questions in class. I'm going to take that and that's going to feed into our stoichiometry. 0 0.0667, 0 0.0667, and none of our conjugate. They're both limiting this time. So I'm going to do my shift. Now, implied in here is that I've multiplied by the mole ratio. That's one of the nice things about acid bases. The mole ratio is one to one. So none of this left, none of my acid left, none of my base, and only my propanoate. Now, the only time I would shift to the conjugate base equilibrium is if it's the only thing left. If I have even some of my parent acid left, I'm going to be starting with that parent acid. But I have no choice but to start with my conjugate base. Now the A, what I do in stoichiometry, feeds into my equilibrium, 0 0.0667, none of this, none of that. Notice the change in the reaction here. It's now a base reaction. So I'm going to say minus B plus B plus B. Now, those of you who've been watching the videos know I use B as a subtle reminder that it's going to be two steps to pH, not just one. So you should know how to kind of fill these charts out by now. So and that's minus B, but we're going to neglect that because it's tiny. Now. So far, it doesn't seem to be too much harder. Uh, the key here is recognizing that you have a change in the equilibrium. And because of that, I have to calculate a new equilibrium constant. And Kb is Kw over Ka. And if you do that math, you get 7.69 times 10. Get out those calculators. Check my numbers, kiddo. 7.69 times 10 to the minus 10. So now I'm going to plug that in. Let me go ahead and set up that KB expression for us. So it's going to be my propanoate, or excuse me, my propanoic acid times my hydroxide, running out of space there, over my propanoate. It's always good to write an expression at least once. So now I'm going to plug into there times 10 to the minus 10. This time I get B squared over 0 0.0667. Now B, remember, is my hydroxide, two steps to pH. So if I calculated this right, I have 7.0667. 1, 6 times 10 to the minus 6. My pOH, since that's a minus 6, is equal to 5 point something. That's actually 5.145. My pH, you can get very readily 8.855. Okay? So this is my pH at my equivalence point. So the reason, and you should be able to justify this, the reason the pH at the equivalence point is basic is because the only thing present at the equivalence point is that weak conjugate base, okay? So you wanna make sure um, that you have that concept down very well. You will need to justify that. In fact, it's far more likely that you have to do qualitative on a titration curve 
than a lot of quantitative. All right, so we're going to be backtracking and looking at the pH or the actually titration curve uh, when we're all done. But until then, this is, whew, that was a tough one, signing off.